Hey guys, Xiaomi. Today we have a lot of LD95 to play with. We have Julian, we have Laura, we have Bella. They were all touched on in the last balance patch, and I'm very excited to play with them. So we're probably gonna be focusing on Julian the most because I'm very curious about this guy. They changed the passive. In the past, he'll cleanse all his debuff when he received fatal damage, but now he'll cleanse all the debuff when he gains a turn. So in the past, you can debuff him and kind of ignore him and he will not do anything. But now when he gains a turn, he'll cleanse all the debuff and he's going to be very, very annoying. So I think it's a good change. I'm not exactly sure. We will find out in this game right here. It also means that they can reduce his attack bar and put slow debuff on him and just trying to control his attack bar and then he will never cleanse himself anymore. Oh my goodness. So I think nowadays you want to have him on some sort of speed with damage attack and then you want him to be as swishy as possible. He's supposed to be like very squishy, but high damage. I think that's the main main thing with this guy. And if you have Ragdoll, feel free to use it with Ragdoll. It's very good with Ragdoll. <laughs> okay, let's go for the stun on this guy. A very nice stun right here. And we're gonna go for the stun over here because we don't know if we're gonna get the attack bar of them or not. I'm gonna push back the attack bar. Do I get the reset? But there's a Jemiah, so I really wanna kill something quickly before the Jemiah manages to get a turn. We're gonna buff and gain speed buff on the team. Okay, looking very good right now. We're gonna finish this guy. You can actually have him at 70% crit rate, even though it's not optimal for skill one damage. It is totally okay because his skill 2 gains 30% additional crit rate. So you will crit all the time with this skill and it does a lot of damage. And he has 2 turn cooldown. So it is really, really good. Maybe this is better. I'm not too sure yet. We haven't fought like a heavy debuff gamer. First game, W for Laura and Julianne. So we're going to pick Julianne here. We're going to go for Raccoonie as well. I think Raccoonie is going to be amazing with this unit. I think we're gonna go for maybe Veramos for the cleanse. I think Veramos is gonna be pretty good against this guy because Provoke and Tomoe is not exactly good against Veramos. So we're gonna pick Veramos. I think Veramos is gonna get banned here. That is kind of annoying. And you can cleanse the debuff of Camilla if it comes down to a 1v1 with Julianne. So let's see which one's gonna win. I think Julianne is definitely gonna be a great unit in general because, wait, what do I do here? Because he has stun and he does good damage and he can't be killed easily. So he has all the good characteristics for a strong bruiser PvP unit. And he can kind of heal himself as well, which is really, really amazing. He, he's not like really super good, but not like really super bad as well. He's just good in general. And I think that is amazing. So he cleansed the thing. So it's impossible to debuff this guy. We're going to focus the damage on on this, but we can stun him because if he reset my Ethna, that's not gonna be amazing. And then we're gonna bring the damage back onto the Vanessa. Ooh. You know what? It's like you can't debuff this guy at all because he's always gonna get out of it if he gains a turn. If you don't have slow debuff, it's gonna be almost impossible to control him because people will build him very fast and he doesn't need any HP or defense. So it's much easier to allow him to do good damage and be very, very fast. So even the Provoke right there is not going to stay on him. Because when he gains a turn, that Provoke will be gone. I'm not sure about Bomb though. Like if there's a Bomb on him, will he cleanse the Bomb or will the Bomb blow up? That part, I am not exactly sure. We get rid of the Vanessa. And then this guy is not going to be too important here. It's going to be the Julian against the Camilla. And I think we would not have a problem with, oh my God. Like every violent problem this guy get is so impactful because he get that insane damage dealing skill with the stun. So in the past, the provoke would have been would have been effective because he, he would hit the unit that, that provoked him. But now because whenever he gained a turn, he take the debuff away, which make every debuff almost useless unless you are constantly like pushing his attack bar down. But if your team is not all about like debuff, like no no general debuff will last on him. And you know what? I said in the balance patch that it felt like a nerf to this unit, but I changed my mind, 100%. It feels like a great buff to him. And he is so annoying. The only thing that is like keeping him down is that he has very high base HP for an attack type unit. 
He has decent base attack, very shitty defense, which is okay. If you take away that base HP down to 10,000 and increase that attack to like 900-ish, this unit will be stupid. We're gonna flex the LD, okay? We are going to flex the LD a little bit because he has so many LD in at 5. We're not gonna have any fun today. <laughs> No ver Where's the vert? I was looking for the vert. Wow, he gave up using vert. Oh my god. No way. Hmm. That is 100% a Juno ban. So if I get speed lead, I should go with this one. This is the ban. He let me have Juno. Oh, very interesting. But we still get the speed lead though. And this Ryu is very fast. Oh my god. That is 288 on, on Despair. God damn, I'm fast. Okay, let's go. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> I want to see the skill three, even though... Yeah, let's go with the skill three. I want to see what it does. That is not a whole lot of attack bar increasing moment right there. But we get one extra hit. Very nice. And then... Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Okay, Juno. It's all on you now, buddy. It's all on you now. <laughs> oh my god, that's way too much damage. That is way too much damage. Uh-huh, Juno. Ju okay, Julian's gonna move because we're gonna cleanse all the stuff, right? W wait, am I dying to the dots? Am I dying to the dots? Am I dying to the... Oh, we no longer die to the dots because we cleanse at the start of the turn. That is huge. That is huge. I'll get some extra crit. And then we don't strip. I mean, we don't have to strip anyway. Yo, we no longer die to the dots, though. That is big. And then we get a free strip. Boom. <laughs> oh my god, and he's gonna wake up on that stun. Regardless, that is 100% above. 100% above. That is that is nasty. This guy is gonna be so annoying. This guy is annoying. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, this unit is so annoying. It no longer died to dance. And wow, that small change fix one of the biggest problem for this unit that is continuous damage okay we i can try to see if i cleanse bomb that is awesome oh oh shit that is a great ass team all right i'm gonna ban the attack buff i want to see how fast the lucian actually is <laughs> but then he rely on accuracy resistant if he missed the bomb he's gonna lose okay we are dealing with bomb people that lucian is really slow so it's not gonna move to finish off my, the, the enemy target. So he's going to bomb the Juno. Can I survive that two bomb? Okay. Is my boy moving? Is my boy... Oh, I'm moving, buddy. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving because of the nemesis. <laughs> oh my god, Julian. In the past, he would not move. Ever. Can I attack right? Can I attack right? Oh, shit. Oh, buddy. Eat your own medicine. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god, Julie Ain is the... Oh, dude, this... Wow. Oh, it's the same guy. I know exactly what you're doing now. Okay, we have... We have HP leader. Oh, we can go crit rate leader skill, actually. We don't need HP leader because the bomb is meaningless. So he doesn't really have any real damage as well. And at the end of the day, I need, I need better crit to finish off the enemy target. Oh, <laughs> look at all of our attack bar. Oh my god, it's not even noticed. Oh, that hurt, buddy. That hurt. Ah, ah, ow, ow, ouch. And then we're gonna go for the stun onto you, because you are a big damage dealer. Yeah, let me finish you off first. We're gonna heal up my team. That's a decent heal. Another decent heal. And it's just the, the kinky at the end, right? As long as we. It's a despair, Oliver? It's actually a despair, Oliver. Interesting. Okay. We, I can't let this guy land more bomb because the one turn bomb is indeed kind of scary. So we're going to make sure that... Oh, Yonhan is going to die here. I mean, I can't really stop it. And Yonhan is not like... It's going to do anything to the kinky, right? This despair, Oliver, is being slightly annoying. <laughs> if I can stun the kinky, it is not going to be a problem. But this, this guy is doing good work. We have Nemesis on Vero. So we're going to gain... Oh my... God, damn, that's a lot of damage. Can you, can you just die? Thank you very much. Okay, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave the Oliver in so that I can use him to heal my my Julian. Dude, how does he land? 
like the the the, the reset and the the despair stun so often it's kind of annoying now oh my goodness i'm gonna heal again can you stop like despair stunning me hello like that's kind of unfair you are stunning quite a lot can i stun you wait can i only stun if i crit oh shit i just realized that that's can i only stun if i crit Oh, I can only stun if I crit. I forgot about that. I thought I could stun him. Oh, no. No, I thought I could stun him. Shit. I didn't know. <laughs> I thought I could stun him. That is so sad. I'm sorry, guys. Man, I thought I could... If I could stun him, I could have won. I didn't know that you can only stun if you crit. Huh? Okay, so the anti one shot is gonna be this guy. So I'm gonna ban that. He still has two heavy buffer that's gonna favor my Bovert a lot. So if he doesn't ban Bovert, I'm gonna heal my team infinitely. That's gonna be pretty epic. So if we really want, we can actually go straight to the Riley for the kill. Which I think that's gonna be what I'm gonna do. Very nice. And then we're gonna go for the damage. Can I? How much can I destroy? Not bad. Not a whole lot. But I can boost the attack bar. And go straight. Brr, brr. Oh, and then we finish. Done with Riley. Nice little violent prop. And I think we should be good. Yes. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Why is he drafting like this? Oh, that is a dead Vanessa, buddy. That is a dead Vanessa. Um, Can I go for this? Okay, very decent damage. Very decent damage. We can definitely stun that. And then we focus on... He used it. He used his skill too, right? So he doesn't have real damage anymore. We can kind of ignore him for now. He can't kill... Oh, 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 oh. oh, you know what? He has the skill now. He has stuff now. <laughs> uh, what do I do? I'm going to try to kill with this. If we don't have defense, bro, I think the skill 3 is not that strong. Alright, we could definitely go for this. Get some attack bar, maybe. Boom. Nice attack bar. Boom. I mean, the attack bar gain is nice, but kind of not very realistic. <laughs> I think. Can I get a violent though? I think we're going to kill him first because he doesn't go back like the dark one. So we, we don't have to care too much about him when he is dead. If we can kill... The enemy or the target quickly. Dude, this damage is nuts. Oh god, that, that healing is kind of nuts too. Okay, big damage. So good. Strip. So good. <laughs> Bella Julie Ain. Dude, it's so punishing for, for slow bruiser player because these two units deal so much damage. Man, people are, are, are really scary with these draft, okay? Uh, fuck it. Okay, so we strip. If we despair stun any one of them, we instantly win, okay? If we despair stun any one of them, we will instantly win. Stun this. Oh, despair stun, despair stun, despair stun. Fuck. Um, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? We kill Oliver. We kill Oliver. We kill Oliver. Can I kill Oliver? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. 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 Good. Now he's going to do that. Hey, what the hell? What the hell, brother? No, 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 no. Ah, fuck. Okay, I still have Vanessa passive. I still have Vanessa. He doesn't realize I have Vanessa passive. <laughs> I have attack buff now. Oh, you done fucked up. You done fucked up, son. You done fucked up. You done fucked up. <laughs> he forgot about the passive. Sleep? That'd be so funny. Okay. Oh, shit. He can kill me again. He can kill me again. Not today. Not today. Not today. Hey. And we're gonna do damage. Oh, no violent proc. No, my boy! <laughs> but he did more than I asked for. He already did more than I asked for. We, we got this one in the bag. Oh, he, he took away my damage. But it's okay. We can sleep him. Hey! <laughs> Get the buff, baby. Get the buff. Okay. And then we're gonna keep going on. Increase cool time. We're gonna finish you with a stun. Very nice stun right there. Now I'm so tanky. There's no way he's gonna ever kill me. <laughs> There's no way. Dude, Laura is sick. Laura is sick. Goodbye, my friend. 
God, I, I love these new units so much. It's so, so much fun to play with. <laughs> Julian took all the hit. All right. That was very, very fun. Really enjoyed myself. Julian's sick unit. I love it so much. Julian is an amazing unit. Thanks for watching. And big shout out to Magic Mod for letting me play with his fun, fun toys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.